Hello, my name is Sylvain. I'm a psychologist working at the Department of Performance Psychology of the German Sport University Cologne. On the 9th of November in 89, I was five years old and I was in primary school in a little village of the west of France. 89 is also the year my little sister Florian was born and I was doing a lot of babysitting this year. As a child, I wanted to become a cyclist, a professional cyclist, and to do the Tour de France. Unfortunately, this did not happen, but I was still biking, to university, and sometimes in Paris. My research aims to break the wall of stress. More specifically, I aim to develop an easy and low-cost solution to help people better cope with stress in their lives be at work or in their private lives. The challenge my research addresses is to understand the connection between the heart and the brain. And for this, I'm using an advanced way to understand how the heart is beating called heart rate variability measurement. We've got a nerve connecting the brain and the heart. This nerve is called the vagus nerve. Basically, you have to imagine this nerve as being a cable. A cable connecting the brain to the heart. And you have to imagine that messages go on this cable, via this cable, in both directions. From the brain to the heart, and from the heart to the brain. I developed a theory called the vagal tank theory that helps to understand the functioning of the vagus nerve. You have to imagine the inside of the vagus nerve as a bottle, like this bottle. And when the bottle is full, this means that there are a lot of messages going from the brain to the heart. And a lot of messages, a full bottle, means that the person has a lot of resources to cope with stress. My research is about developing and fine-tuning activity to fill out the empty bottle and make it a full bottle. Heart loves my brain, just breathe with me. Can you feel it? It's like magic. My heart loves my brain, just breathe deeply. My heart loves my brain. My research is aimed to reduce overall stress levels and help people regain self control, which is a very important thing to make this world a better place. So far, we know quite well how the brain talks to the heart via the vagus nerve. So the cable connecting the brain to the heart. But what we know less is how the heart talks back to the brain. And this will be the next challenge for my research to address. I have a little secret for you. What keeps me lying awake at night is that I love experimenting with myself. Most of the time, I would wear this small device that allows me to understand very precisely the way my heart is beating. And basically, this will allow me to understand how my brain is talking to my heart. My mother thinks it's very funny everything started with a specific event, namely the final of the World Cup, Football World Cup in 2006, between France and Italy. During this final, we all observed the headbutt of Zinedine Zidane on Materazzi. And then immediately I had to wonder, like millions of people on this planet, why? Why is this possible? That's the best player at the time did this. And this is how I started to become interested in the heart-brain interaction. 